Oh, and I got the wrong bag with the hole in it. Dang it. Hey everyone, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. So you've developed a pinhole leak in your Canuck Vecto water bag. Bummer kind of thing to happen on the trail. I was on a recent trip and took a bag that I knew that had a leak in it, forgot that I had a leak, and it's a kind of a frustrating thing when you are trying to filter your water and you are springing a leak in your water bag. So how do you fix it? Well, there are two pretty simple ways that Canuck uh, recommends fixing and repairing the bag when you develop a pinhole leak. And in my case, I've got two bags that have developed a leak. I've got one bag that has a leak right here in the corner and another bag that got a puncture from a cactus thorn that is right on the side of the bag after I filled it a couple seasons ago. So uh, what Canuck recommends is two different options. We're going to do the better fix on the repairs today for these two bags that I have but you can also use super glue. And to quickly talk about how you use the super glue, you would uh, very simply put this onto the hole and then brush it on, let it dry. But my issue with using the super glue is it then creates just kind of a, a messy surface and the glue could over time start to peel away and then just peel off completely. And then if I don't have any kind of a patch material, then I'm back to square one with that, where this patch material, which is a tear aid type A, this is the better fix. So we're gonna use this today to repair the two different uh, bags that I have that have holes in different locations that might be similar to what you maybe have experienced on your Vecto bags as well. So the bag that we're gonna start with first is going to be actually this clean water bag that I filtered water into it and then uh, it rolled over and I got a puncture right in the side of it. So what I've done is I've filled the bag up with a bunch of water and then I squeezed it to find out where exactly that hole was, took a Sharpie and put the uh, circle around where that is. So now we're using this Tear Aid Type A, which you can get on Amazon. I've put a link for this down in the description. It's about 10 bucks. This stuff is amazing for repairing all sorts of different things. So having this in your repair kit is a really nice addition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut just two little squares out of this. I'm gonna cut a big piece and then we'll do uh, that in half to make two squares for the two different holes that I have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna round off the corners on here just so that there's no uh, edges that can catch those it's pretty standard if you have ever like fixed a bike tube for example and we're just gonna peel this off and I made sure that this is nice and dry because it's in kind of like a weird spot I gotta like flatten this out kind of like that and we're gonna take the patch I'm just gonna peel that off turn this over and just press that right on top of the hole should we get a good seal on there, put a nice bit of pressure, rub it in. Sometimes that heat from the friction of rubbing it in helps give that a nice good seal. And now your bag is ready to get filled and make sure that it is all taken care of. So this is an easy thing to do in the field because I'm gonna probably carry this in my patch kit anyway. I can clean it off real nice. And then if I have issues with this in the future of it uh, being a problem of rolling and getting dirty or it just like peels off you can always replace it with another patch really easy so on this bag where it's a little bit different uh, location i'm going to pull the slider off i'm going to open that side so that i've got the ability for this to be uh, easily accessible and then again that other patch was a little bit bigger than it probably needed to be so we're going to just cut like this into a nice Circle, peel this off. Super easy to do this, guys. And then we're just gonna place that over the corner there. Wrap it around. This one's gonna be a little bit more tricky because of the location of it. So I'm gonna have to be a little bit more mindful of how that patch works and how it comes together. But, that's it. That is as simple as it is to uh, repair these bags. 
So I'll put my slider back on. I'm gonna go fill the bags both up with water. I'll be right back to show you that this patch actually does work. All right, so we got the bags filled back up here and giving it a nice hard squeeze. <laughs> it's awesome. No leaks, nothing coming out, and uh, very happy with that repair. On the more difficult location here on the corner, squeezing that, nothing. Totally fixed, awesome. Easy field repair to do on your Kanaka Vecto water bags using the Tear Aid Type A patches. Awesome thing to have in your patch kit for sleeping pads, for your water bags. Just a great way to easily repair in the field your gear so that you can keep using it without any big issues. So uh, with that, uh, thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed. Hopefully you found some value out of this. If so, give it a thumbs up and we will catch you on the next video. See you later.